Hey guys, this is Fo. So we're going to upgrade uh, my Asus ROG uh, Strix G15 laptop, Electropunk. This is the 2020 laptop edition. So there was um, a previous 2019 edition that's very similar to this, but that has a 9th gen Intel chip. This is the 2020 version. So they should be the similar or if not the same. Uh, they should be relatively the same and what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade it with a NVMe uh, one terabyte uh, so this is um, a Western Digital and then we're also going to upgrade it with uh, 32 gigabyte of RAM uh, now this is two 16 gigabyte each and it's DDR4 and the, the RAM you would want is the SODIMM S-O-D-I-M-M now it is only two six 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 megahertz. Uh, I think that's fine. I think uh, I've read tests that uh, a twenty four and a three thousand hertz are almost the difference is not is is just not worth uh, paying extra money for. All right. Uh, so first thing you're gonna do is flip the laptop over, like so, um, and we're gonna remove the uh, the screws. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's eleven screws, I think. So, first thing you're gonna do is, um... all right, guys. Um, so the thing to notice is that you have a long screw and a short screw, and the short screw is um, obviously the shorter distance down here, and the long screw is gonna be in the middle somewhere. All right, so once you remove all the screws, um, you can uh, pop up the uh, the bottom here. And it's actually not that easy, but um, I'm obviously cutting some time be between what I did. But be, be careful about the uh, there two there's two wiring that connects the uh, the um, ribbon the light ribbon cable here. So this is the light here. You can remove it. But uh, I recommend just leaving it in there if, un unless you really need uh, huge access to the area. Because what we're going to do is we're going to replace the RAM that's here. And then we're also going to uh, add a uh, NVMe uh, card right here. So I already have one installed earlier. Uh, but this RAM is going to be replaced. Now this RAM is 8 gigabyte of um, 3000 megahertz. I don't know the brand. But it's actually a little better than this Vengeance uh, DDR4 uh, RAM, but you know, at a um, higher clock speed. But because I'm adding both of these two here, uh, we want to keep it the same because even if you only get one DDR4 and you add it here, it's going to default to the lowest speed. So if this was 2000 and this was 3000, it's going to go to 2000. And that is if the RAM is uh, communicate correctly. So anyway, all right. So what we're gonna do is pop out the RAM, and okay. So there's these two tabs. You just pull it out to pop out the RAM, okay. And we're gonna add our RAM to it. If you notice, it only goes one way, so there's a cut right here. Uh, and so what that needs to do is you have to align it to, to the cut, okay? You're going to gently push it down and this, it locks it in place. So now we've upgraded the RAM. Next we're going to put in the NVMe. Um, okay, so there's two types of NVMe. There is the SATA uh, version, which is um, uses a, a slower um, 
uh, connection. It uses SATA um, connection, obviously. But this is the um, uh, the uh, PCIe version, and you can tell by the cut up here. Right here. So you can tell with one cut, okay? The SATA version has two cuts. It has this one and another one. Now, theoretically, um, drive one, two, and three, the drive three will accept either or, but I prefer uh, the PCIe version. So if you're going to get a, um, a, um, a uh, NVMe, make sure it's PCIe only. And then what you're going to do is remove the screw down here. This only goes into one way. So you see the cut down here? This fits the key here. So we're going to push it in. There you go. It's in. Now you notice how it sticks up. You're going to have to use that screw that we removed to hold it down. For $200, we've upgraded the RAM and the NV the storage. Um, so if you ever want to replace the other storage, this is the original uh, NVMe that's here. This is the original one. It's just covered by a kind of like a heat sink or whatever, a heat fan. This is a uh, NVMe one terabyte that I've added myself. And then this one we've just added. And then these two RAM are brand new. All right. So that's how you upgrade your laptop or at least my Asus ROG Strix. G15. Alright, now before I put in the screws, I'm going to turn it on to make sure that it's working. Okay guys, so now that we've uh, have the computer up and running, what we're going to do, and uh, we're going to verify it. So the drive that I, I just installed has not shown up. What we have to do is initialize it using Windows 10. Um, it's basically the same thing as mounting a drive um, permanently. Uh, what you're going to do is type in disk management for your search. Disk management. Okay, maybe. Okay, maybe it's under computer management. Um, I thought it was under disk management, but. Okay, so under here you see storage. Um, right here, it's uh, disk management. We're going to highlight that and it's going to take a few minutes for the computer to um, uh, read all the drives and then it's going to say hey there's an NVMe drive what do you want to do with it there it is it says do you want to initialize it we're going to say we're going to choose the default so there's a master and then there's a GI um, GUID partition we're going to just leave the default so say OK. So I have here three drives. I have here the uh, disk zero, which is the, uh, the uh, drive that came installed with the computer. I have disk one, which I've signed V. And then disk two is not assigned. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to say new simple volume. OK, and we're just going to follow the wizard. Say next. Uh, it wants to assign it E, but you can assign it any number. I'm going to assign it X. Okay, and then we're going to call this. Um, we're going to call this X. And then just leave the default. Perform a quick format. Say next. Finish. And then uh, let Windows do its thing. There we go. They've just discovered X. What do you want to do with it? All right, so let's take a look at uh, my PC. So sure enough, X shows up here. There's my C, my V, and then my X drive. Now this Google Drive, G drive, is actually um, uh, a cloud drive. So I can throw things on there and share it with my computer. All right, so let's run the benchmark. So use the benchmark. What it's going to do, it's going to compare my RAM, my um, 
my it's the speed of my um, storage, my um, speed of my uh, graphics card, and it's going to give you a nice chart of uh, everything that you have in the computer. Plus, uh, it will compare it to other people with the same computer or similar specs, and it's going to tell you if it meant for gaming or whatever. We'll let it run. Okay, guys. So this is uh, the result of my computer. So as far as the gaming, it's a uh, 38%. Uh, for desktop, is 81%. For workstation, is 35%. Now they break down. So if you see the status here, all the greens are good, and then it says graphics. Um, it says that it's good for 1080p, uh, but anything above 1080p, the graphics card is going to struggle. And you know what? It's fine because your my monitor, this monitor on this laptop, is only capable of 1080p, so it can't go any further. So to get a more powerful card in there doesn't make any sense. I mean, as far as if you want to run, uh, you know, 14p or um, 4k, it doesn't make any sense because this screen can only handle 1080p. So to have a graphic card that's capable of 1080p, it's actually not a knock against the screen. So if you pair the two. It's fine, in my opinion, so you can just ignore that uh, the yellow. Now, because of that, it knocks the PC status down to red, uh, but that's fine. I mean, uh, like I said, uh, I, so let's take a look at the processor. It's Intel uh, i7 10th generation here, so, um, and graphics card is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti. And uh, we get to the drive here. So the all the the drive that I've installed here is we get the Intel that's uh, pre um, built in. Uh, so outstanding, 150 percent. Um, the two drives I put in here is 171 and 193 percent. So the one that we just put in here, the um, Western Digital Blue, um, has uh, a, a good speed basically. Uh, so yeah. So the max speed here is this 5,000 megabytes per second. It doesn't show you the, here, actually, it says 800, but that doesn't, I don't know what that, um, it actually doesn't tell you the, the same. But you can see on the right side here, the right speed here is 1,000 here, and or the read is 1,000, the write is 1,000, on average this is 1,100. And then on the Western Digital, it's 1,500 and then 1,200. So it slightly edges out uh, this other NVMe card. The one that's pre-installed, um, this move up a little, is not actually not very fast. But uh, that is actually expected because you're paying only $800, $900 for this computer. So to get a, a, a cheap uh, NVMe uh, is fine. And to be honest, uh, this is much faster than any traditional hard drive so that's, that's not a knock against that at all alright so the memory kit that we've just installed it tells you that it's Corsair Vengeance uh, so dim DDR4 uh, and then the speed is uh, 2666 megahertz and there's two of them two uh, 16 gigabyte adding up to a total of 32 gigabyte of RAM uh, when clocked together and you know it's fine it reads at 29 it writes at 27 so it's like I said it's within the 70 um, percent um, um, and like I said there's not much difference between a 2000 and a 2006 you know whatever when you run it in total alright so uh, before we I'm gonna close this up actually because what we're gonna do is um, we're going to put the screws back on uh, once it's powered off. And um, so I was going to show you the difference in RAM. So um, this is the laptop RAM. So this is so dim. And then this is the regular dim, D-I-M-M. And as you can see, it's almost half the size of a full-size um, RAM. <clears throat> now this is also a DDR4 as well. Uh, you can tell by the, the cut down here. So the cut in the center. Um, yeah, so basically um, this RAM runs really hot so that it has a heat sink over it and it's actually, I think it, it might be 3000 hertz or something. So so a laptop RAM 
it shouldn't probably run over 3000 hertz just because it would run really hot and so you would probably need um, you know heat sink or something something similar to this uh, so um, so I think the clock speed can be lower in my opinion uh, but anyway so yeah so that's the size and RAM anyway thanks for watching that's how you upgrade your ROG Strix Asus uh, Electropunk edition uh, thank you for watching